Hello everybody, I'm Cherry from Headway Rocket. Today we're very happy to announce our testimonials block version 2. We've been working very hard on it and we believe that the new features take the block to a whole new level. The main new feature is a WordPress custom post type reserved for testimonials content like you can see here on the left hand side. We'll get back to it a bit later in the video. First of all, for this demo, I previously had version 1.0.2 installed with a simple grid layout, six testimonials, like you can see on the screen. And what I want to show you is when you upgrade to 2.0, the block will remain the same, but you will have a bunch of new options. First of all, I'm here on the page where I have my testimonial block still using headway content and I'm going to click on the settings icon and I see right on top there's a new option which is content source. At the moment it's pulling from a headway, so testimonial content. You can see that the title, subtitle, image, etc. is added in a headway. So what I'm going to do is change it to WordPress and when I change it to WordPress I have a notice saying that I don't have any testimonial set at the moment and there is a direct link to add a testimonial. When I click on the link it takes me to WordPress admin, the testimonials custom post type add new. I'm going to show you how to add a new testimonial and then I'll add another two on my own. This is going to be the testimonials title. Here we enter the testimonial content. A bit further down we see the subtitle. And on the right hand side I'm also going to assign categories to show you how the filters work. She's a girl. And we're going to use a tag as well. We're going to set administration, add, and the featured image is used for the avatar. So I'm going to show and use as featured image. That's it. If I publish it, all this time I'll see Samantha. I'm quickly going to add another two and I'll get back to you. Here we go. I've added another two testimonials and I'm going to jump right back into my visual editor. So I'm going to save because I've changed to WordPress content and reload the page. Great. So I see in my testimonial block the content has changed and there's no longer six features but the three features added in WordPress are displayed. If I click on settings, I see the notice is gone and if I check the testimonial content, there's a WordPress content table which shows you all the different testimonial added in WordPress, which category they belong to, as well as the tags, what is the status, and we have added a direct link to edit each testimonials or even add a testimonial. If I go to configure layout, all the options are remaining like it was in the previous version so you can still use the grid layout, the slider layout and anything you wish to. But there is also two other new sections which are content filters and ordering. This allows me to manage the content as I wish. If I wanted to filter only the boys, for example, and I click on boys, I see Freddy and Thierry, which is me, are displayed. If it was only girls, there's only one girl, which is Samantha, and she's being displayed. If I unselect, then it displays everything. Whatever selection you make, you can include or exclude. You can filter by tag as well. If it was management, then in this case, there's only me, etc. You can also filter by single testimonials. The ordering is the other part of it. 
So you can order by title like it is now. You can have ascending, descending. You can also filter random, you can filter by ID and you can filter by date as well. The other part that I want to show you is how the testimonials block reacts on the testimonial single page. So for that I'm going to grid mode and I'm going to choose one of the testimonials page. I draw a block, choose testimonial, and I hit save. So if I look in manage mode, I see only one testimonial is being displayed, and the testimonial being displayed is the one we're currently editing. So the block is intelligent enough to pick up that testimonial block you've drawn is uh, situated in a single page so it assumes that you want to display the single page content and you see in this case there's a new option which is called view and by default is selected by single view you can however still change into index view if you want to and it will display all the testimonials and you can still apply the filters etc back to single view the option remaining or for you to edit the styling. Last but not least, I want to show you what happens when you draw a block on the testimonial post type, which is the parent of all the testimonials posts. Back on grid mode, this time I'm going to edit the testimonial post type. And again, I draw a testimonial block save and go back to manage mode so what happens here is the block also picks up that you are on the testimonial post type what it tells you is that will be applied to all the children which doesn't have a layout assigned and it shows you the first testimonial so that you have an example just to illustrate it I'm going to save and I'll show you for example if I go to testimonial and I view theory which doesn't have a layout assigned I see that the single view is being displayed that's it for today please give us feedbacks as we do implement options based on it and I hope you enjoyed the video see you next time